They had barred the door. My only hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. God damn it! Okay, Max. Now you check the main terminal. I'm gonna go and look for the Bronco plane by the hangar, okay? Let's do it. You keep an eye out in there. You know Becker's gonna have some guys in there watching out for you. Yep. So, of course, I knew they were looking for me. But the airport was about the only place a fat gringo might blend in. Well, there or a sex club. Hey. Hey. My delusions of disguise lasted around two seconds. They were out in force. And they were out for me. But then, I was out for them, too. Every last one of those bastards. Yeah, yeah, we'll go on, Galactic Gamers. It's 420 on Max Payne. And it is time to finish this thing off. We got our old trusty Desert Eagle. So we're going to use that up. Take out these chumps. I like to take cover right here first. All right, Dude, I'm gonna switch over to my auto nines, finish off these dudes. As always, we're looking for some headshots. Maybe a little melee kill. Out. There's gonna be some guys coming down up the top there. Let's take your cover. Use your bullet time. Bring out your headshots. Before you know it, we will be at the end of this game. Grand finale outlaw style. Oh shit, that was suck. Grand finale outlaw style, baby. Alright, come on, buddy. Show your face. Come on, I don't have all day. Damn it, alright, fuck him. I'm going to draw him out a little. Uh-oh. All right. Quick reload. All right, run around. Grab some ammo where you can. All these guns down here have laser sights, and I don't know if you guys are like me, but I do not like the laser sight in this game. So once you have collected up your ammo, we are going to head right over here we're gonna hop on the conveyor belt come on you stupid piece of luggage Are you kidding me all right well you're gonna see voila go to the rotary grenade launcher part one did I say that right or what all right so get down get off the conveyor belt Right, I'm pretty much out of ammo. So, scoop up the ammo. Okay. And then we're going to come into the office here. Head up the stairs. Come straight out and take your first cover right there. And then just... Start taking these chumps out. Use your bullet time, damn it. Yeah, man, these guys are smart in these later levels, man. They, they take cover quick. Man, I hate this laser sight. Sometimes it's hard to get a lock on these dudes.
All right, so when you feel it's safe to come out of cover... Oh, shit. See, the laser sight, I can't do shit. Got lucky there. All right, so I hate the laser sight. I'm switching back to my auto nines just to finish this off. Got another guy hiding back up there. Get some prone kills while I can. All right, quick headshot. Pop up, grab some ammo. One last dude. All right, cut scene. Done. Dude is done. All right, so grab the ammo. Once you're done, picked up the ammo and ready to head up into the room here. Now, before you go to those through those doors straight ahead, obviously you want to grab some PKs right there. Go through these side doors, come down, and booyah, shalaka, bluma. You got rotary grenade launch part deuce. Part duh. All right, so now we're good to go. Ready to head through I these felt doors. Like my vacation was coming to an end. Only I wasn't heading home with a sunburn, a bag full of duty free, and a dose of VD. I was making a bet that would put me in handcuffs or a body bag. All right, so switch to our ammo, that, our weapon that has ammo. Pop a little bullet time. Pop a little headshot. That first kill is gonna draw out his buddy. Here he comes. A couple of them. So as soon as they start showing their face, gosh, I hate this thing. I'm just randomly firing. Damn. Score a quick melee kill. All right, he's got it now. We can pick up this commando. Booyah. All right, we're done with that laser sight bullshit. Come up here, get ready to do some bullet time. Headshot, tail top. We got a couple more guys up here behind the corner. Pop a painkiller. All right, if you go in this room here and check it out if you want. Painkillers right there. No clues to look for. All right, there's dude wants to show finally show his face. Overkill that mug. Got another dude right here coming in sideways on him. Boom. Level cleared. These were Becker's guys. Him and Victor had a private airport to go with their private army and their private jet. All right, so the first room we want to go in is to the side room right here. Come around. Give me some painkillers. be alive much longer. Run right back here. Get your third piece of your rotary grenade launcher, and then now... So why not get a buzz on? And we're about to get our final clue. It's going to give us two trophies. We are going to get the You Sure Know How to Pick a Place for discovering all the tourist locations. This is our final tourist location. We're also going to get an Echo of the Past for finding all the exploration items, which is all the clues. So right here in this bathroom stall. This is going to finish up all our clues and our tourist locations and double trophy us. Let's get it. And guns. I might have known you'd turn out. Sorry. I'm heading home? Oh, I, I am here to pick up my daughter, but I imagine she's stuck on the plane. Uh, what are you up to? I don't know. I'm trying to make a difference. Giving back. Yeah, well, that's what you call it. Take care. Yeah. Nothing was happening back here. I had to get to where the action was. Judgment with a smile. You can't beat it. Outlaw style. Boom shakalaka. We got him. The doors lead in the direction of the main terminal. Alright, so just keep moving through the bathrooms. The There's the restroom. I could get through to the departure gates up ahead. There's nothing really here except them painkillers. 
There were Ufe all over the airport and civilians were being moved out. Looking at it one way, shutting down the airport for their escape was a weird sort of compliment, but one I didn't need. Nice! Yo, this song is wicked right here. Yeah. Alright, once you uh, clear out those guys on the right, take out this guy on the top here. Headshot. Try not to get too distracted by this kick-ass music. Alright, so I run up the right side here, grab ammo, and then quickly take some cover. Switch to your commando if you want and just start taking out dudes. Rocking out to this wicked song. Dude, that tune is just nice, man. Alright, once you have it cleared, collect ammo. Grab these painkillers right there. Then come up the escalator. Grab some more painkillers right there. Uh, spot your enemy. Come across the, the walkway here. Take out enemies while you're moving. Don't slow down. All right, turn around, head back down to the end of this back side here. Dude, that song's sweet. All right, so right here at the end of the corner, grab your ammo and then grab your golden RPD part number one. Alright, now I like to jump down, come up, take some cover. Keep moving up from cover to cover. It opened at the other end of the departure lounge. And get ready to take out a bunch of dudes. Damn it. They got me. But we got plenty of painkillers, 
So just take your cover. I don't know how this guy got so close. Take him out. That's the last dude. Area is now secured. So right here on the left-hand side is going to be some more painkillers and the second golden RPD part. They weren't here. I had to keep moving down through the airport. So grub up on some ammo. Scoop up all these dudes. Scoop up all their ammo. And then come right here to the power switch and open the gate. the side here get those painkillers take more cover bullet time headshot bullet time headshot the tram to the next terminal was down the escalators make sure and grab ammo come over to your next next area cover Got a couple of guys coming up the escalators here. I just saw their little beanie heads. Where'd they go? So keep moving down. Uh oh, what the hell is that? Move down, get into cover. Switch commando style. You got a few of them coming out down there at the end of the hallway at a choke point. You got some. All right, here we got another guy right around the corner here. Trying to sneak up on me. Guy's still alive. So once the area is pretty clear, you can come out of your cover. Boom. 90 yard headshot. Look at that shit. It didn't look like there'd be any trams leaving until the power was on. So scoop up on ammo. You got to make sure to keep reloading your ammo. Bust into this back room here. There's a uh, mini 30 if you want it. There's some painkillers. And there's a power switch. So hit the old power switch and restore the power. It worked. The trams were running again. Maybe they'd take me to my gate. Maybe they'd bring more guys wanting to whack me. Maybe both. So, so come right over into cover. Switch back your commando. 
Damn, I can't get a headshot on that dude. I'll try and gas you out. As long as you stay in this back room, you should be okay. Just always try and go for the headshot to conserve your ammo. Couple guys right there, fuck them up. Damn, that dude's still alive. That sucks. Thought I put a few headshots on him. Alright, get ready to melee kill this dude if you have to. Overkill. Punk. Who you think you are? Who you think you're dealing with? Alright, so come out. All kinds of new ammo for you to scoop up on. And when you're ready, we're gonna hop on the train here. And we were off. I felt like I might be able to recharge for a second. At least until we pulled into the station and met more murderous assholes. Son of a bitch. It didn't work out like that. Of course, there'd be a tram full of goons trying to derail All right, me. so start taking out these goons. You know, stick, don't diss the pattern, stick to the pattern. Bullet time, headshot, bullet time, headshot. All right, so... See, there's another mini 30 there. Painkillers right there behind you. It's not letting me grab them. We must be maxed out. So feel free to munch a couple painkillers if you're maxed out like me. Damn it. Get up. It was perfect. Everyone wanted a ticket for the Max Payne Express. All right, there was an ammo case on the last train. I don't know how I missed it. But right across from the Mini 30, there's an ammo crate. I knew it was there. I was looking for it. I didn't see it. I thought it was on this train.
So be careful going around this curve because the guys are kind of, they're, they're inching up and you can't see them. And then when you straighten out again, you'll be able to see them. out on the joke and it was a real good one just gotten on board. I had to salvage what I could and see what was waiting for me. So collect what ammo if you need to. And then at the end of the train, there's going to be our third golden RPD part. You need to grab that before you get off the train. It had taken me right into the heart of it. Becker's gimps were everywhere, so he and Bronco must be close. The smart move would have been sticking with De Silva and going straight to the hangar. But when was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks. Let me walk in the main entrance. I'll put a big shit eating grin on my face and let these assholes take turns trying to kill me. That's my style, and it's too late in the day to hope for change. Boy, were they throwing numbers at this problem. But then, I'd chosen to be here. I wanted this. Was it redemption? Not really. It was pathetic desperation, and not much else. The further in I got, the more guys I saw. Becker wasn't running a police force. He was running an army. These guys were better trained and better equipped than anyone I'd seen out here. And I'd seen some mean sons of bitches. The mission was screaming suicide, but I didn't give a damn. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. <coughs> there the bastards were, sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. I ain't got no world to go, Becker! Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me! Mate ele! Mate ele agora! No! So I like to move back over and get some, take some cover behind here. Good thing we got plenty of painkillers. This is definitely a heavy firefight. Just remember to, to go for bullet time headshot, bullet time headshot. And watch out for the grenades, damn it! Fuck. What the hell? Thought I was shit. Damn it, man, I am missing those grenades. All right, so once we finish off the last guy, we're going after Becker. Got to get a clean shot on one of those grenades. 
knock that punk ass out. This was it. It was almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. Alright, Outlaws, as tempting as it is to shoot that guy, don't shoot him, and you will get the secret trophy, you push a man too far. That's Outlaw style. Let that man suffer. Now we're getting ready. We're going to clear the runway. We got our grenade launcher, unlimited ammo. All right, Outlaws, so after getting that secret achievement, you push a man too far. We're now going for the roadkill behind me trophy. And you get this by killing everything on the runway. Now, the army trucks are pretty easy. Try and get this chopper out as early as possible. Aim, aim a little bit above the army trucks to take them out. And as soon as you get close to these cop cars, you want to go into your bullet time and take them out. Those are the main things you got to worry about to get this trophy. So as soon as you get close to the cop cars again, go into your bullet time, take them out. As long as you get them, the rest of it's easy as pie. All right, so right now you, we got our final truck, and once we get this truck, should get our trophy. Outlaw style. Now, final objective is just take out this, take out the plane, and this is pretty easy. Just fastest way to take it out is to just shoot them right in the engines. Darn. It looks... They're going to collide. Indefinitely. 
Meanwhile, Victor Bronco, the politician at the center of the scandal, who is accused of laundering money from the scheme to fund his political campaign for mayor, was yesterday found hanged in his police cell. It's not yet clear whether his death was a suicide or simply retribution for his part in a scandal that has so many families missing loved ones that were kidnapped and killed. City officials say a full investigation is underway. Local 